Spanning the Lehigh Valley, bringing you a variety of sports. The thrill of victory and the agony of defeat. The fans' passion for athletic competition. This is the Noise Nation's Bass Valley of Sports. Brought to you by Decal, Depot's Dish, Cram's Corner, Cheryl Purcell, and your host, founder of the Noise Nation, Noise Nation Dan. Hey there, Noise Nation. Welcome to the episode two. Uh, we're going to start off by heading out to Iron Lakes Country Club, uh, where the Lehigh Valley Steelhawks are holding their second annual golf tournament. While the Noise Nation did not participate in the golf tournament itself, uh, they did say there would be cake involved, so we were sure to show up. We're going to start off with uh, Steelhawks representative Tammy Santiago, who's going to tell us more about who the Steelhawks are. We are the best pro indoor football team in the Valley. So, Tammy, what's going on here today? We're having our second annual Lehigh Valley Steel Hawks annual golf outing. Golf? I thought you were football. We have over 80 golfers today, um, a lot of our sponsors and our fans. The tour is something we do that's fun. You know, we have some players here. We have our quarterback, Adam Benarek, is here. And we have T.O., one of our new DBs, is here as well. And Zach Tupper, our fullback. Um, it's something, you know, for the fans, just have fun. Our sponsors to come out, take a day off of work, relax. Play some golf. We're going to have an, our annual dinner after this. So it's just something that's just a fun, relaxing day for everybody. I'm Glenn Clark, owner of the Lehigh Valley Steelhawks and a fan of the Noise, Noise Nation. And you're watching the Noise Nation Vast Valley of Sports. As we headed around the links to check out what the Steelhawks were up to, uh, we remember the, the big hits during this, this past season. And uh, we, we looked around, we saw some big hits and some not so good hits. And then we saw some really bad hits. Hi, I'm Adam Benark. I'm Steelhawks quarterback, and you're listening to Noise Nation's Vast Valley Sports. We caught up with Steelhawks general manager, Mike Clark. Uh, today was the Lehigh Valley Steelhawks uh, second annual golf outing. Uh, we had about 80 people out today. Um, just an opportunity for us to kind of thank our sponsors for uh, uh, a great year uh, to come out and play golf, have fun, um, get to uh, give away some prizes later on, and it was just a fun day all around for the team and, and to give back as well. You know, there's a lot of people that wanted to be involved, and uh, some of the sponsors that couldn't make it out, they gave prizes and things. So uh, when we have our, our dinner a little bit later on today, uh, people will be able to win prizes and, and things like that. So. Uh, you know, whether you won golf or not, everybody's going to be able to win something today. I am Jimmy T, and you're watching the Noise Nation's Vast Valley of Sports. As the afternoon wound out and all the golfers returned, uh, there was a nice buffet put out by Iron Lakes and a uh, nice selection of prizes donated by the sponsors of the Steelhawks. Uh, the afternoon finished off with the awards, and it was a fun day and a great time for all who attended. The Noise Nation headed out to uh, the Roller Derby in Schnecksville this afternoon to check out the bout between the Lehigh Valley Roller Girls and the Salisbury All-Stars. So you've been invited to the Roller Derby, and your first question is, what is Roller Derby? Well, Roller Derby is a contact sport played by two teams of five members roller skating around a track. The game is broken up into two 30-minute halves and smaller two-minute matchups called jams. One player on each team, the jammer, wears a star on her helmet. She scores the points. The jammer scores by lapping members of the opposing team, earning a point for each opponent. All skaters begin on the line, and play begins with the whistle. 
The first jammer out of the pack is awarded lead jam. Only the lead jammer can end the jam by placing her hands on her hips. The pack assists their own jammer while stopping the opposing jammer, playing offense and defense. There are referees and there are penalties, and a penalty results in a trip to the penalty box. I'm Daisy Destructo, and you're watching the Noise Nation's Vast Valley of Sports. At the Derby, we first checked in with league president, Helen Derink. Today is a resurgence of the roller derby from the 70s. It's more of a sport than a sideshow attraction, I would say, where it's a full contact sport for women. At Independence Family Fun Center, which is in Schnecksville, it's only about a block off of Route 309 North. We have bouts about once every month, and um, we also travel the East Coast for away bouts. Lehigh Valley Roller Girls have their very own website. It's lehighvalleyrollergirls.com. We are also on Twitter and Facebook and MySpace if we still do that. On our league right now, we have about 35 girls. And then what happens is for game day, there are 14 girls on a roster out of the 35 total for our league. And also on our league, we have two teams. We have Special Vixens Unit and we have Pissy Fits, which is our all-star travel team. To get onto the team and eventually become part of the league, what you do is you come out to an orientation night and the coaches will go over what they expect you to learn and how to skate properly with falls and doing crossovers. And they have a, a set standard of, of what we expect. And then a week later you come back and you do a tryout to see if you can meet all the standards that coaching has set up for um, being part of the team. And then once you go through that, then we have about a seven week boot camp where you learn how to do hitting and how to fall and you build up your endurance. And then um, we have a pink star assessment, which means you actually take a skating test. And then we have a written rules test, so you know the rules of how to play roller derby and you can be safe. The requirements for making um, the team are, you have to be 18 or older. There's no end age because we have girls from 20 years old and up into their 50s. And um, so if you're 18 or older, you can become part of the Lehigh Valley Roller Girls. And then um, once you go through orientation and um, the different skating tests and written tests, the, re the attendance requirement is um, Monday, Thursday nights and Saturday late afternoon. So we have practice three times a week. And then we also do events, we do charity events, we do special appearances, and um, so it's, we get put on an event team and then you show up where you're supposed to be. Hi, I'm Spock at you from the Lehigh Valley Roller Girls, and you're watching the Noise Nation's Vast Valley of Sports. We ran into head coach Rose Beef and asked her about the challenges and uh, aspects of being a coach of a roller derby team. Uh, coaching for roller derby is a little different than other sports. Um, the dynamic of roller derby uh, involves a lot more aggression on um, uh, the women's side, so you have to not only push the girls to uh, a new level that uh, they're not used to, but you have to force them to be aggressive. Kind of like a field hockey or, or soccer, when you're not used to just skating around in circles um, and hitting somebody, you have to get them acclimated to, um, to hitting uh, other people. Also, you have to learn the strategy and you have to make sure you can communicate that and get the girls working uh, together in a cohesive unit so they can play the game. Uh, we do practice three days a week, uh, Sundays, Mondays, and Thursdays. Uh, we make sure that uh, it's a, a nice balance of endurance, strategy, and scrimmaging. You have to make sure you have all parts so that when the girls are uh, encountered with a, a situation that's brand new, you know, they might have recognized something at practice. You know, if someone pulls out a new trick or uh, a new skill uh, on the track, we want to try to give them every situation so that when any eventuality happens, they're ready to, to conquer it and meet the challenge. In order to make the roster for 
uh, either our uh, WIFTA team or our SVU team, there's a lot of criteria. Number one, you have to pass all the WIFTA minimum skills requirements. Now those include going 27 uh, laps in five minutes, being able to skate backwards, being able to hit properly, being safe on the track, and also being efficient on the track. Over and above that, what we do is our own charter assessments, and we take only the top girls from those charter assessments to make our rosters. Only 14 out of, we have about 35 to 40 girls at any team at any time, only the top 14 will make the roster. And that's the most, uh, most comprehensive way to get the most competitive play on game day. Hey, I'm Shasty McNasty, announcer for the Lehigh Valley Roller Girls, and you're watching Noise Nation, the vast valley of sports. While at the Derby, we ran into a group called the Mac Club, and to tell us a little more is their leader, Mike. I'm Sprinkles, also known as Mike, and I'm a member of the Mac Club. We are Lehigh Valley Roller Girls' official fan club. We started out as husbands and boyfriends, and we've grown to be about 30 people strong. Uh, we travel around with the league to give them support wherever they go. We were just up in Ithaca, 30 people there. We had as many fans as they did. 100 miles away. <laughs> At home we help set up, we do chairs, break down, lay down the track, whatever they need. We're always here for them and we're always out back drinking. The Mac Club can be found at every Lehigh Valley Roller Girls bout, either inside helping out with the team or outside enjoying a beautiful Schnecksville day. I'm Helen Durink, president of Lehigh Valley Roller Girls, and you're watching the Noise Nation's Vast Valley of Sports. The Noise Nation even got to chat with the competition led slinger of the Salisbury All-Stars. Well, my name, my um, roller der derby name is Led Slinger. My number is 357. And we are from um, Salisbury Roller Girls, which is in Salisbury, Maryland. Um, I'm personally from Pittsburgh, though, so. <laughs> <laughs> We have 11 rostered um, girls and one who's injured, but she came as well. So, uh, we do travel. Uh, usually, I think the most we travel is around four hours, and we've done that several times this season. We travel to Philly, um, Charlottesville. So, yeah, we travel all over, wherever we can get a game. This is uh, September is my second year. I love it. It's amazing. <laughs> I'm Cinderella, and you're watching the Noise Nation's Vast Valley of Sports. While we haven't gotten to many details of the game tonight, the Salisbury All-Stars did defeat our Lehigh Valley Roller Girls, but we got a chance to learn a little bit about roller derby and the, the, what it takes to be a roller girl, and we had a lot of fun in the process. So I hope you enjoy this, this episode, and stay tuned for the next.